All right, guys, before we dive into this week's episode of Duel Night, I just want to give a huge shout out to our new Patreon members on patreon.com slash x one We got a bunch of crazy content when it comes to Master Series and also Duel Night, Ultimate Losers Match, a bunch of crazy deck profile, bloopers, behind the scenes. You guys have it all. If you guys love to see extra content and want to get involved in supporting the show, please check out Patreon in the link down below. That is patreon.com slash x one A huge shout out to all all our Patreons. Here are the Diamond Duelist Patreon. You guys get your name enshrined in each and every single Duel Night episode. So guys, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for supporting the show. And I cannot wait to showcase you guys more content, more behind the scenes, so that way you guys can get directly involved in the show. All right guys, without further ado, let's dive straight into episode eight of Duel Night. Let's begin. Welcome to Duel Night. This is a brand new draft series where four players take their deck building and dueling skills to the next level. Starting chronologically from the very first booster set, each player gets the draft from the deck box containing three of every card from the current set. It goes like this. The booster set for each episode will be divided into four piles. One for each player to draft a single card from and switching piles afterwards until there are no more cards left to draft. Each duelist comes up with a 40 card deck using their drafted cards, dueling one another in a best of one. The winners of each duel will proceed to the finals, battling for the title of champion. The victor gets the spin from the magical wheel, allowing them to pick a card from the deck box on the following episode. The deck box continuously builds as each set progresses, adding the best cards from previous sets to the arsenal. Watch as the four of us duel it off to see who can become the master of Duel Night. Let's begin. All right, guys, welcome back to episode number eight of Duel Night. Today, we're diving in into Magician's Force. This set is absolutely insane. You guys already know we cannot start a Duel Night episode without an introduction of what this set is all about. Without further ado, let's begin. Magician's Force was released back on October 10, 2003. This set contains a new type of cards called Union Monsters, which has the ability to combine and strengthen other monsters along with plenty of spellcaster type monsters and support cards. This set also contains the Amazonist archetype and introduces the spell counter mechanic in which certain cards can only be played by removing a number of spell counters which are usually acquired by playing spell cards. For example, Breaker the Magical Warrior gains a spell counter when normal summoned. This card gains 300 attack for each spell counter on it. However, you can remove one spell counter from Breaker to target one spell and trap card on the field and destroy that target. Highly sought out the cards in this set include Dark Magician Girl, Breaker the Magical Warrior, Tribe Infecting Virus, Magical Scientist, and Chaos Command magician all right guys so that's pretty much it on a brief history on magician's force without further ado let's bring on this week's players What's up, everyone? It's your boy! We're back at it again with another episode. I am the reigning champion. And today, nothing's gonna change. But you guys wanna know why I won, man? It's not because of me, man. It's because of all the support I get in the comments. I read it all. I love you guys, man. So if you guys think I'm winning this episode, let me know in the comments. Let's go! What do I want? Let me think. Because if I just ask this, 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 what's it called? A wheel? I should know because I'm here all the time. More than you sound, that's for sure. But if I spin this wheel and ask it politely, I want to, I want to trap. That's what I want. So I'm just going to ask this wheel, very polite, your wheel. Give me a trap, bro. I'm going to get a trap. I'm going to get a trap. Like I said, trap. Like I said. Oh. Like I said, trap. No, my, you got a monster. Pick a monster. I said trap. No, you. Fine. Fine. You want me to pick a monster? Fine. I'll pick a monster. I'll pick a monster. Wanna know why? Because I'm a monster and I'm gonna destroy everyone today. So you know why I will pick a monster? I'll pick. I'll pick Daybreaker Magician. Breaker the Magical, whatever his name is. 
You're in my deck. Let's go, baby. You already know, your boy is back here on Duel Night episode number eight. Last week, I got destroyed by Jesse Botton himself. <laughs> Fiber Drawer is a little bit unfair, and um, now I know how far for felt in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Series, because I personally don't like getting Fiber Drawer twice. Not once. Guys, today's episode is going to be super duper special. We're currently playing with the Update Forbidden and Limited List right here. I believe we're on August 2003 Forbidden Limited List. I can be wrong. Let me check. Let me, let me, let me use my, my, my phone. Yes, we're on August 2003 Forbidden and Limited List, all right? So a bunch of things are changing. And on Patreon, we did a poll. All right, guys, with all the Patreons, it's super fun for us to interact with you guys on Patreon. And you guys decided that since we have incorporated the ban list in Sonic Guardian and, of course, in Magician's Force, we are going to be using the old rules for this episode. So there was a poll on Patreon. You guys wanted to see the old rules being integrated into the episode. That means that we're going to be drawing six cards on the very first turn. Well, you draw one card at the start of your turn. So you have five cards. You draw one. You have six. Next, we're gonna go on with the old rulings, old errata cards. So cards like Ring of Destruction, you can game your opponent with Ring of Destruction. We're going on with the original rules. Imperial Order, you can turn it off anytime you want. So yes, we're basically going on with the old rulings. And also at the same time with this episode, you guys voted that there should be priority. All right, and we'll dive straight into priority and explain to you guys on what priority is. So for those of you who are new to the Yu-Gi-Oh game, you guys can further understand how old rules function back in 2003. Guys, I showcase draft lists every single episode. We make decisions together there on Patreon, and it's just a great way for us Duel Night members to interact with the patrons. So if you guys haven't joined the Patreon yet, I don't know what you guys are doing. Guys, I'm so excited for this episode. Let's do it! Yo, what's good, everybody? It is your boy Milano, the Duelist, and I'm finally back for another Duel Night. And this time, guys, I'm gonna tell you a little secret, a little, just me to you, you know? This whole time, I haven't been really trying, you know? Now, this episode, I will start trying officially. And you know, I'm sure this will propel me above all else competition and gonna dust these waist suits. Let's go. What's going on guys? It's your boy, this Dakota from the Twitch and the YouTube channel. I'm so glad to be here on Duel Night. I'm so excited to be here to play. I've been a long time fan of this series, dude. I've been watching since the very first episode. And honestly, every single time I've been watching this, I'm like, damn, I wanna be on this. I wanna be on this, I wanna be on this. And I messaged Sam and I was like, Sam, can you get me on an episode? It's not a very far flight. I'm down, I wanna come down. And Sam was like, bro, I got you. So here I am, ready to play Duel Night tonight, ready to clap everyone up. I have a plan and I wanna put it into action. So guys, before we get started with the draft, Sam told me that over on Patreon, they decided to vote that they wanted to see a bit more of the OG rules of Yu-Gi-Oh! Some of the older stuff that you'd see back in 2003 or in GOAT format for those of you that are familiar with that format. So in this situation, uh, we're basically now going to be playing on Duel Night with a ban list and the old rules of priority. So Sam wanted me to explain that to you because I primarily do judging content, so we thought it was best if I explained this to you. So basically what this means is that in this set you have a card called Tribe Infecting Virus and a card called Breaker the Magical Warrior. Both of these cards interact with priority in a different way. What the old rules of priority used to be is that when a monster was summoned, on summon you were allowed to activate its ignition effect even as if the effect was an on summon effect. So in the case where you have Tribe Infecting Virus which has an ignition effect on the field that you can discard a card to destroy all monsters of a certain type on the field and your opponent has a set bottomless trap hole. In this situation, what would normally happen in current Yu-Gi-Oh! is you'd normal summon the tribe and your opponent would be able to bottomless before you can use the tribe. However, with the old priority rules and the rules that we're going to be using on Duel Night here is that when you normal summon your tribe infecting virus, you can activate the effect as if it was an on summon effect with priority before letting your opponent the chance to bottomless trap hole your monster. So something like the tribe infecting virus ends up being an on summon effect if you want it to be. When it comes to something like Breaker the Magical Warrior though, it's a little bit different because Breaker's uh, on summon effect is actually the effect to gain the counter. So you wouldn't be able to on summon of Breaker, gain the counter, then use the effect to pop a back row before your opponent can use it because that's two separate effects that the Breaker has. So guys, that's basically it for how priority works. So you'll be in the know with how things are gonna be working out on Duel Night moving forward. If you have any questions or there's some th things that you don't fully understand about priority or the new rules, leave it in the comment section and the Duel Night team will be very happy to let you guys know exactly what it is that you need to know to understand the later episodes. So guys, it is time to draft. All right guys, we're back here with Magician's Force draft right here. Today we got 
This encoder, Kevin? It's your boy. How you doing, guys? I'm, I'm, I'm having the duelist. You know what? Listen, listen. This this guy is so excited for what? For lose? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't understand what's hey. going on here. Hey, hey, hey. Kevin's my guest from Montreal, okay? okay. Let's not make fun of him. Okay. Kevin, enjoy last place, bro. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go with the bets, baby! We the bets! All I have to say is that Triff took the L yesterday in all the duels we played except for one. Bro, so I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna run it back. Bro, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, Kevin, I have a question for you. But who won the locals? Bro, does it matter? Who? I have more wins who than to, you do. Who towards you in the finals? Okay, wait. wait, wait it's wait, not wait, gonna wait. happen again! It, it's it a bomb to. Let's only, go. Listen, listen. The only guest that the Duel Knight crew will allow to have a win is Jesse. That's it. Everybody else is gonna okay. get smacked up. There is no way. Okay, listen up, okay? Kevin is also a judge, if you guys don't know. So today, I am. you'll also be our designated judge if you're not playing. So we'll call upon you. Yo, you need to tell them about our other rule. Oh. Rookies have to get the vet's coffee. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Give me the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no one told me. Uh, no one told Look me. Look at that pee. I didn't say that. <laughs> Give me some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let the draft <laughs> begin. All right, guys. Good luck. Good luck, boys. Here we go. It's going to be epic. Oh, the guys, there are a bunch of new strategies uh, on here. Uh, what do I oh, wow. I got lucky. I got lucky with this one. <laughs> if you guys don't know, that's that's actually our, our Toronto. Our, 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 so uh, how we meet each other? We see each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Milano. Just let you know, man. I I see some sucking strategy here. Milano, come on, bro. Today, bro. I'm picking. I'm picking. I'm picking, man. Honestly, I see Please. Kevin's. Kevin, you're so excited. I'm ready, dude. I know what I want to go for, and Milano is basically no, stalling. <laughs> How's the draft so far? Hey, there's nothing like, wrong with stalling. Dude, so far, guys. I'm doing good. I'm doing like, good. You I, like I'm, it? I'm going towards what I want to go towards. Honestly, guys, like this is literally like a YCS, but probably better. Yeah, pretty much. This is literally, literally, this, literally. Yeah, this is a real top. If you top duel, duel nights, like, everybody's like, oh, I have YCS tops. I have two UDS win. My name is Jesse Khan. I have three UDS wins, 20 YCS tops, and over 40 regional. Bro, I have a two-way win. Exactly. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, but without, yeah, without, without, without due respect, he, he has two wins. <laughs> <laughs> My deck is epic! <laughs> <laughs> Your deck has no pathetic cards? I think nope. I think like, yeah, the, not I the eight that I picked so far. I think for the Patreon or what? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Steven, Steven saw what happened in the last Patreon duel. I don't, oh I don't recall. I like stressing Milano out. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, so stressed. I'm rushing him so he has to pick some optimal cards without thinking. <laughs> it's a strat, trust. It's all about the mind games. Yo, Kevin, do you hurry up, Kevin? Bro, you still have a pile in your hands. No, I don't. Now you do. Kevin, hurry. Wow, you're going to rush me. I'm the guest, bro. I don't Kevin. do this every week. <laughs> hurry. Guess what? We don't care. <laughs> wow, look, Toxic. Look, look up the blue lights, baby. <laughs> toxic all 2021. That's, that's the introduction, isn't it? It's like, yeah, bro, this is how you learn. All right, guys, so after an hour later of drafting, how are you guys feeling? Uh, my deck's insane, honestly. Uh, you're all going down. You're all getting completely clapped. My deck is nuts. It's just wild. That's yo, it. I jumped shift halfway through. I'm like, yo, <laughs> I'm going to more. New strategy. It's game because I not only drafted everything I needed, I also counter-drafted the counters for my decks. There's no way you guys are winning. There's no way. Oh my god. Really? I'm it's so impossible. Scared. I'm, yo, so scared. Yo, yo. I'm so scared. You know what the party gets over there? There's no party over there. game set. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Let's go on. We're gonna figure out who we're playing next. So under here, we have two copies of the same card. So it's uh, Unchained Aruha. Aruha. Yeah, because it's you. Yeah, and also, my babies. And I all my babies. And also two copies of Evenly Matched. So because we are all evenly matched here, aren't we? Except uh, you're all going down, bro. Uh, all of you, baby. <laughs> all right, guys, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Be careful. Be careful of it, eh? One, two, three. Ah! Get clapped! Get clapped! Get clapped! We'll see, bro. We'll see. We'll have to it's hard to do. Kevin, distant coder. Ah, uh, I have the honor to send him packing back to Montreal. I'll book the flight myself. Let's go. Triff, are you serious, bro? This is gonna be so easy. I've already played him like three times since I've been in Toronto here. I've beaten him twice and he's beaten me once. Like I'm telling you, there's absolutely no chance Triff takes even like a couple life points off me. There's no way, there's no way, it's too easy. I'm facing Sam, man. 
Not the opponent I was looking to play. Me and Steven got a bit of a rivalry, but he can catch the smoke any day of the week. Let's get it, Sam. Milano? <laughs> I'm facing Milano. I, I don't think uh, Milano is, uh, I'm not saying he's bad, but, you know, Milano. <laughs> Who's, who's worse, Denzel or Milano? <laughs> you guys, you guys tell me. Just finished drafting. My deck is crazy. Nothing new. Every deck is crazy that I build. This is my deck list. For my deck strategy, I decided to take last episode strategy of mine and Jesse's strategy and combine them together. So I have the Warrior Toolbox, as well as just basic GOAT Toolbox from GOAT format, like Daybreaker, Tribe Infecting Virus, and cards like that to help me gain advantage. And then when I protect all of these with my very powerful spells and traps, it's gonna be almost impossible to lose. So honestly, unless I lose to some gimmick, it's over. I absolutely auto win. But I already know Coder. Coder, I know got some gimmick going. I don't care. No gimmick would be enough to stop this deck. One huge thing I love about this strategy is Rhoda, Reinforcement of the Army. The fact that it could get Exiled Force to deal with a monster, like a, like a giant rat or, I have that, like a Mother Grizzly Shining Angel, or if it's gonna be a Sasuke Samurai that's gonna get rid of a face down monster, or a Don Zaluk to attack for, uh, to discard a card from my opponents, or a big beater. I love the fact that it could be anything I want. And when you combine that with all the other traps I have, it's actually unstoppable to lose. Another huge part of my strategy are the trap cards, like Torrential Tribute, Mirror Force, Bottomless, Traps. When you combine amazing plus one cards, which are all my monsters with trap cards, this deck could probably beat Tri Brigade of this format, bro. Let's go. So guys, we just finished drafting, and let me tell you, I got an absolute doozy of a deck. Feast your eyes on this. So as you guys can see, I went with a sneaky burn strategy. The number one card in my deck is a new one from this set, Wave Motion Cannon. Now Wave Motion Cannon is a really, really powerful card. It puts my opponent on a clock, and if they don't deal with it, then they won't have life points and come a few more turns. So it's a very, very strong card, and it is the prime focus of my strategy. Other than that, in my deck, I have a lot of powerful burn cards like Ring of Destruction, Secret Barrel, which was introduced in this set, and Magic Cylinder. Now, a couple of those cards are at one, but I don't think that's gonna be too much of a problem because I do have a lot of burn cards in here. And the fact that I have so many, the odds of me not drawing them are incredibly small. And on top of that, just the icing on top of the cake, I got a couple of stall cards. I got my Spirit Reaper that can't be destroyed by battle, and I got Gravity Bind to make it so my opponent's monsters can't even get through my defenses. I'm telling you, all I gotta do Sit back, relax, and the game's gonna be done. Guys, I just finished drafting, and here is my deck list. So, halfway through my deck building process, during the draft, I jumped ship. I was gonna build the XYZ Dragon Cannon, but I decided the Grave Keepers was probably the, the next best bet. Until I realized there were no more Necro Valleys going around, so I was, I was in a bit of a, a bit of a spot, all right? So, my ace card is the XYZ Dragon Cannon for this list. I ended up having to go with the XYZs, but you know, maybe I could summon one of the fusion monsters and you know, pop off and destroy a board. The other cards that complement my strategy are Rivalry of Warlords and Solemn Judgment, of course, as my, my go-to staple to always pick. Another important part of my strategy is the Kaiser Coliseum. And if you don't know what this card does, it locks you into one. If I control one monster, then you have to control one monster. An X equipped with the Y equipped with the Z. This is full combo, baby. All right, guys. So I just finished the draft. I personally think I have the best list in the entire room. Here's my deck list. All right, guys. So you guys must be confused on what my deck does and uh, what it's about. All right. In a format that it's a 1v1 type of thing, you know what I'm saying? My deck excels. Basically, my deck is called Magical Scientist FTK. My goal for this deck is super duper simple. Get out Catapult Turtle, as you guys can see, and especially since we're using the old rules, because the Patreon voted for it, 
Catapult Turtle is not a once per turn effect. As long as I get Magical Scientist on the field with Catapult Turtle, I can pay a thousand light points. I need at least 7,000 light points to bring out seven fusion monsters so I can tribute them off with Catapult Turtle to deal 8,000 plus damage to my opponent on the very first turn. So it's an FTK strategy. If I pull this off, I think it'll be super duper awesome. But yeah, man, help me get there. I have reasoning. If I reasoning hit Catapult Turtle and somehow get access to my magical scientist, I win the duel. As you guys see my deck list, I have three Mr. Tomato, one Sangan, and two Apprentice Magicians, right? Those cards, whenever they die, get me access to magical scientists. Unfortunately for this draft, I managed to only draft one scientist. So as long as I get to see my scientists, I win the game. Mother Grizzlies helps me get access to Catapult Turtle. And once I have those two paired off with each other, I win the duel. In my deck, I also have Giant True Nade, and of course, Cold Wave. Once I resolve one of those cards, I win the duel as well. Reasoning also helps me dig deeper to my deck to get me one of those cards. And once I get Catapult Trotto and Magical Sciences out, I win the duel. I'm super duper confident with this week's strategy, and let's see if I can take a couple games down. All right, guys, let's begin. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Triff? It is time. It, look, I'm gonna sit here and shit talk. I don't want to because you're my friend. And I don't wanna get into heavy detail about it, but I will. I'm gonna whoop your ass right now. I'm gonna give you a warm welcome back to Montreal. After I beat you, you think I'm wearing glasses? No, 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 no. No more trip accounting? No more trip accounting. Today, this is Savage Trip Gaming. You're gonna face the best of trip gaming. I'm gonna send you on a plane back to Montreal. Nonetheless, you're my boy. I wish you the best of luck because you're going to need it. Good luck, Triff. Good but, luck, uh, bro. At the end of the day, I am not only the guest in your house. I will be moving in permanently. I am going to take your spot on Duel Night. How are After you? I clap you, bro, it is time. You're not even going to take 100 life points from me. Bro, I'm willing to bet that that's wrong. Uh, anyway, actually, I know what you're playing, so I take that back. All right. All right, high roll. High roll, let's go. Best Good. of luck, bro. I rolled luck. a six. I also rolled a six. Wow. What the? I actually did it! I actually did it! Go again! A six! Oh my god. Do it, do it. Five. I, I stayed on six. This dice is loaded, Sam. This dice is absolutely loaded. It's okay, not it's not. This is loaded for me. <laughs> yes. All right, uh, so we are drawing to six on turn one here. Yes. Therefore, I'm going to be letting you go first. Oh! All right. All right. Good Best luck. of luck, Good my luck. dude. So you guys might be thinking, Koda, why are you letting him go first? That's such a bad strategy. You're giving him an extra card. The reason why is because I play a card called Princess of Tsurugi in my deck. And that card requires that Triff commit a couple of back row to the board. So once he commits a couple of back row to the field, at that point, I get to set my Princess of Tsurugi and not even have to worry, he's going to take some burn damage. Koda is going to let the reigning Duel Knight champion get an extra card and set his board up with the old rules. Ah, uh, Koda, Koda. This is gonna be a very fast trip back to Montreal. Montreal, uh, au revoir. All right guys, before you start, just wanna let you know I am the judge for this match. What's up, Sam? What's Thank up? you. What's up, Judge Kevin? Yo, I'm not the judge right now, I'm playing, bro. Good luck. Draw! For turn! Yes, <laughs> I'm gonna start my turn. <laughs> yeah. With Upstart Goblin. Uh, sure, thank Draw you for another. giving me 1,000 more life points. No I now problem. have 9,000. Yeah, they're gonna help. How many cards do you have in your hand? I have five cards yeah, in my hand. Make that four. Forceful Sentry, baby. Cool, <laughs> what do you wanna get rid of? My Thunder of Ruler, my Magical Merchant, my Mage Power, my Gravekeeper's Guard, or my Giant Germ. Let me your read. choice. You can only act this card during your opponent's time by vigilance. Your opponent can perform. Okay, sure, dude. Uh, let me think. What are we getting rid of here, Triff? I'm gonna have to get rid of uh, this one for <laughs> sure, you. Sure, that's fine. So that's the deck, right? Yes. Nice. And you can only use the trap on my standby, right? Uh, that is what the trap says. Okay, that's good. All right. Would you right. like to cut my deck? I'm going to. D duo. <laughs> oh, no, nice. duo. Okay, Set. you're not that nice. Okay. Set. Set two, I will draw. Standby phase, main phase. Yes. I'm going to... Hmm... Yeah, I'm gonna do this, that, and that, and I will pass it back. I'll draw a standby. Yes, sir. Main phase? Yeah. Almost there? That's fine. Flip some in. Bazoo! Don't salute, sure. Enter battle phase. That's fine. I'll attack with Bazoo. Okay, okay. Yep. I'm adding autonomous action right. units Sounds to good. my hand. No, not my monsters are ever hitting the graveyard. And then, yep. my boy from last week, Don Zalug, attack coming directly. <laughs> so I take 14? Yes. Cool, so I'm on 76 yes. and you're, looping, you're making me mill too, right? Uh, absolutely not. Why not make I me mill am, too? 
Because your deck's useless, bro. I'd rather, take your I'd rather them take in your, your pick, bro. Take bum, your bum, pick. Bum, bum. See very ya. Very nice. Very, very nice. So that is not something you drew. So you have two in hand. Let me think of what you had in here. You have Giant Germ, Autonomous Action Unit, Unknown Trap Card. Ooh, Understandable. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to have to pass oh, yeah, my sorry. turn. All right. I will. You set one? Yes. Wow. Draw. Stand by main. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. That's a very interesting top deck, to be honest. I'm going to I'm gonna make a play. I'm going to set a monster, and I'm going to pass him to you. All right. I'm going to draw my for my turn. Stand by face. Do you have a response? Oh, go for it. All right. Go, ahead, go, go right ahead. Go nuts. Sounds good. Normal summon Giant Rat. Yeah, that's so perfectly that's fine. fine. That is perfectly acceptable. I'm going to enter the battle phase. Yeah. And I will attack with Giant Rat. Okay, so please tell me how you are outing Spirit Reaper, Triff. Oh my god. Please gosh. tell me how you are outing my Spirit Reaper. Spirit Reaper. Oh my god. This is going to be difficult. I... Uh, uh, I need to exile Force ASAP or, or I lose. That's Explain. A, Honestly, I don't know, bro. That's Ooh. a good point. I have no idea. The strategy is currently going all according to plan. Well, I'm off to pass my turn, my all friend. Right. I will draw. Stand by main. Yes. I'll just pass. All right. Because... I will draw. Yeah. You're quite the duelist. Quite the duelist. I have the strategy all according to plan. Everything is going great. I love this. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I will draw. Stand by main phase. Yes. Well, Triff, I hope you have back removal because I am activating wave motion cannon. <laughs> you are now on a clock, Steven. So finally, after so many turns, I see it. I see it, my ace card. I drew the wave motion cannon, the best card in my deck. From here on out, at this point, I'm activating this card. Triff has to deal with it or it's donezo. You cannot out my monster, and in eight turns, I win the duel. Exile Force, come to me! I will. No! Pass turn to you, friend. Exile Force. Do, do. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. It's got Exile Force. No, I didn't think so. I absolutely did not think so. <laughs> sure, show me. When I summon Breaker, uh, and that priority. Can I still use it? You can't prio pop. You can't prio pop. Okay. The priority is to get token. Okay. You have to gain the counter. Yeah. No problem, you do this. <laughs> wow! Imagine not knowing your rulings. This will be your downfall, Triff. Who needs to know rulings, bro? Bro, five out of eight on my quiz. What is this? Doesn't matter. <laughs> because, bro, listen. Who won the last time we duel? Ah, it's okay. That's all this, I need the, to the only thing that matters is the duel happening right now. Okay. And you're still losing that one. Nah, it's okay. Yes, I'm you have eight turns. Noble Daybreaker. Uh, Breaker is acceptable. Yes, that is fine. And I'm gonna use Bryo <laughs> to add a counter on him. That's fine. And then I'm gonna remove the counter and destroy your wave motion cannon. Sure, that's fine. That is not a problem. I uh, accept. God, dude, why does he have to have that? The second I draw wave motion, he's had everything up to this point. Why can't I catch a break? And then I pass. All right, cool. Nice, very, very nice. I will draw for a turn. Yes. Well, Triff, if I wasn't stalling you out enough, no, I'm you stall you out have one. only a little bit more with a messenger of peace. Oh Therefore, only the Dawn of <laughs> currently on your field and the giant rat will be allowed to attack, but they're in defense. Yes. Meaning you're not going to get very far with those cards. No, I need to get rid of the Spirit Reaper. You are not going to get very far with either of those cards. I am going to pass the turn to you. Sure, figured, yeah. Draw. You got 7,900. All right. Uh, yeah, so uh, on that note, with my 75 life, I will pass to you. Exile Force. Exile Force off the top. Do it. Draw. How many cards in hand? Three. Three. Draw. Stand by main. Set an additional back row. Pass. Did you draw it? Do you have it? No. Giant Trunade! Uh, yo, uh, Mr. Judge, sir. Yes, sir. Does, uh, reinforcement of the army search Exile Force? Um, it says you can search a level 4 or where you want to. Oh, how quaint. Wow. Nah, I didn't draw it. And you also nice, have nice. priority on Exile Force summon. Very that nice. is something you do have. You do have priority. Yes. So what are you doing? Well, you've activated that card in my Imperm column, so I'm going to negate it with seven tools of the bandit by paying 1,000 of my whoa, life points. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you read this card again? Judge? It's not a trap, no. Judge, can you read that card it's again? It's a trap! What a judge! I don't know! I don't watch the anime! Oh my 
god! Okay, I'm actually John's throwing. John's license revoked! <laughs> oh, I'm actually throwing? That's fine then, never mind. Hey, wow, hey. I don't know how to read! Who's gonna tell Coder how to read, bro? Yo! Hey, you want me to teach you how to judge, bro? I'm gonna teach you some rules about Yu-Gi-Oh! Seven tools only stops trap card, doesn't stop a spell. Bro, I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, judge, by the way. I don't read these cards. I started playing in 2016. This is so old to me. All I ever remember is, oh yeah, Matt, that the card's in the anime, right? I thought it negated any spell trap. I just, what do I know? <laughs> hey, <Coder. laughs> Yo, what's up? Are, are you really a judge or <laughs> nah, I'm actually super fake. I actually never watched the anime. I thought this negated spell or trap. I thought the card was good. My bad. What did you add? <laughs> Yeah, you added you added Exiled Force. Damn! Imagine right? never having read that card. I let's go, let's go, bro! Exiled Force with me forever until the end of time, baby. So okay. wild. Yeah, that's fine. And then I activate MST on this card. Uh, sure, that's my autonomous action unit. All right, you Bait. got you got me there. You got, got me there. Baited, bro. And then I normal summon Exiled Force. That's fine. Yeah. No, no, no. A fact. <laughs> sure. And then. Pull it. Yeah. Two, I mean, two attack position. Yeah, that's fine. My soldiers. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. enter the battle phase. Yeah, that's fine. Don Salud. Yeah. Do him the favor. Put him down by 1400. I will take 14. Would you like to mill too? No, I will oh, not. Okay, cool. Got you. <laughs> and Don Salud. See ya. Okay, cool. Just my Gravekeeper's Guard is gone. Yes, and a giant rat. I will take the 14. 1400. I will the take the 14. So I've taken 24. Do you want to mark that down? Uh, 2800. Uh, 28, yes. I also know math. That is also a thing that I know as a judge. Is how to 4700 now. All um, right. 47, sure. I couldn't take a chance to get to the judgment there, even though I know Milano already probably has three. <laughs> but I couldn't take a risk. <laughs> I will have to pass my turn All to right. you. I'm going to draw. Yes. Um, I'm going to set one. Yes. And then I'm going to pass turn over to you. Draw. During the draw phase, yes. I'm going to activate Gravity Bind. Do you have any responses? Gravity Bind. Oh, I don't have any else. I don't have any else right now, guys. I'm not gonna lie, but it's all good. We got Daybreakers in our deck. We got Witch to search at Daybreaker. We got MST, Grenade, Heavy. We're all right. We just need to wait a few turns, and we'll be all right. No response. Okay. I will allow you to proceed with your turn. Okay. I will activate. Sure, Mystical Space Typhoon. Oh, you're not that nice? Uh, sure, you're gonna pay life points. Run it, yeah, I'm down. Which one would you like to hit, Triff? Go for it. Okay. okay Giant Germ is gone. Yes. My one of two. Yes. Because you drafted the other one, yes. I'll be getting rid of another autonomous action. Sounds good. And I will have one here. I will draw. Stand by main. You pay the life points. I will be paying the life points. I feel like I need to uh, make, give myself a cushion of protection. I will be setting one card and passing them to you. Yeah. Did you draw the nuts? <laughs> Activate my favorite card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Reinforcement of the army! Uh, that is fine, yeah, that's fine. No I right, seven tools can't negate it. That's Thanks. fine, yeah, I, I learned that the hard way. <laughs> Yo! I know what's coming. Oh my god, what are you about to do? What are you about to do? Shadow Gohan Jutsu? Shadow Gohan Jutsu, Sasuke Samurai! That's fine, that's perfectly acceptable. <laughs> Normal summon Sasuke Samurai! Yeah. Attack, I activate effect, it? yes! You want to flip it? No effect! <laughs> Yeah, so my flip monster will not flip uh, because your monster destroys that at the start of the damage step, right? It does, which is before my monster flips. And I will pass my turn after putting these in defense. Sure, I will draw. I will... Do you pay 100? Um, I will not pay 100. Okay. I will refuse to pay the 100 and I'm going to... I hate that I have to do this, but I'm going to normal summon Mask of Darkness oh and my attempt God. to enter the battle phase. So at this point, guys, I, I, I'm out of juice. I have nothing left. I'm not drawing any burn cards. I literally don't see a way to win. I need to stall just a little bit more. I have to get rid of this freaking Sasuke Samurai. I don't have a choice but to normal summon Mask of Darkness, bro. Oh my God, don't do this, bro. I'm going to attack over the Sasuke Wait, Samurai. Wait, one sec. I, have, I might have a response. Wow, can I enter the battle phase? Is that okay? 
Battle phase is fine. Do you have anything during the start step of the battle phase? Thinking though? if I have something on the start okay, step. Okay, sure, sure, that's fine, yeah. Anything in start step? No. Okay, battle step, I will declare an attack. Anything on attack declaration? Yes. Am I getting mirror force? There's no way. There's no way I'm getting mirror force right now. <laughs> no, something even better. Better? Show me what you got, show me what you got, show me what you got. Mirror force. <laughs> So here he mirror forces my Mask of Darkness, but I do have the seven tools of the bandit still face down. And I was like, cool, this is awesome. I get the seven tools this, and even if he has another mirror force, he can't use it afterwards because at this point, we are past the point of me declaring an attack. So my Mask of Darkness attack is guaranteed to go through. Do it. Am I, am I okay with this? Am I okay with this? No, I'm not. not scared of your back row, I don't think. You are very scared. I'm scared of that. That's what I'm scared of. I'll seven tools it. I will good. pay 1,000 life points to negate and destroy your... Yo, can I activate force. another mirror force if I had another mirror force? Ooh, do you think you can? Would you like to know the official ruling? Do you want to ask the judge? The only real judge here is Team Samurai. Excellent. Exactly, we can ask the judge, Team Samurai. Mr. Judge! judge! That is correct! Yeah. Sam is currently one for one for rulings. So that means my Sasuke Samurai is going to die? He's, he's going to die. Nice you're gonna, you're gonna, you and you're going to be taking 400 damage. Yeah. So you th I, I've paid 1,000, but you take 400 and lose yes. your precious monster. I love you, Sasuke. So now your monster is literally like no longer uh, a part of your army. Yeah, kind of like your life points. Yeah, pretty much. How, what are my life points at uh, right now? So I'm at 66, you're at 45. I'm at 45? Bro, if you out my gravity bind, I'm literally dead. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass. I will have to pass my turn. Good job. For turn. I will set one and pass to you. Do you have the nuts? No, I don't have the nuts. Just okay, heavy stone. <laughs> Get out of my face, bro! Get out of my face! I'll change Jar of Greed. That's okay, that's okay! True Nade, it's over. Just like Kevin's trip in Toronto. Holy... Go back to Twitch, bro. We don't do that here in Duel Nights. Bro, I swear, man, I swear, I took, I just, why, I can't, I have no words, I have no words. I flew all the way here to have fun on Duel Night, and Triff is just gonna crush my dreams the moment I walk through the door. What am I supposed to do? He drew the true nade. I don't have anything. I, I can't do anything. Let's go! <laughs> Bro, where are my burn cards? Boom, boom. I placed so many! Boom, boom. Where are they? Calculating, one second. Bro, I've not seen a single burn card. What is this? 32, 46. Oh my god. 6, you probably have game, right? 51, you're at 45. Yeah, that's game. Dun dun! Basil Max! Wow, dude. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> GG. Good game, Strip. Where are my burn cards, bro? Where are they? Okay, that's one. This is 2K burn. More burn. Dude, they're so far <laughs> away. I do no burn. Burn is not the strat. Burn is absolutely not oh. the strat. Are you sad that you are? <laughs> Gosh, dude, this is terrible. The GG's bro. Wow. So for those of you that actually cared to see me while I was here, I know I didn't give a really good showing, but you can see me duel once again in the ultimate du losers, duelers, losers, losers words, in the ultimate losers match on Patreon. So don't forget to join the Patreon and I'll see you guys there. We won round one and we're going to the finals. What else is new? This is like our ninth finals in like seven duel night weeks. It don't matter, baby. Whoever I face, whether it's Milano or Sam, I'm prepared. You guys saw your, my deck yourselves. You guys be the judge of it. Me and my short shorts are going to the finals. Let's go. Milano! Samuel the Duelist, bro. It's nice to see you round one, bro. Milano, I haven't faced you in a long time around here. Yeah, I don't think we played in a while. Yeah. No, we played. No, did we ever play an Ultimate Loser match? Not yet. No, not yet. Not, not yet. yet. But this but, time we won't. No, but go kidding. there. You're going there to see. <laughs> no, you're gonna Coder. go there. Listen, guys, listen. I feel so bad for Kevin. He flew all the way here just to lose. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I think that was in the contract, bro. This guy, yo, get over here. We're gonna, you know, dust you round one, and you know, bro, just watch me and Steven play in the finals. Bro. He faced the goal for round one. Yeah. Bro, no one told me that I was here to play. I thought I was here to judge, bro. <laughs> All right, Milano, good right. luck. Samuel, are you ready? All right. All right, let's do this. Let's go. One, let's do one night. One night. One, one night? Are you sure? All right, good luck. Hyrule. One. All right. Milano, good luck. 
I will be starting. All right, man. And since they're using new rules, I get to draw an extra card. All right, right, that's very fine by me. Good luck, duelist. Oh. All right, Milano, I will draw for turn. Very simple. Very simple. Plain and simple. I want to see something very easy and, and, and not very stressful. Okay, let me see. This is pretty hard. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's what she said. Uh, is she though? <laughs> Sorry, let me see. Okay, sorry. Sam, I need to go soon. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Hurry I was, up. No, I'm just, I will set one. I'm joking, I'm joking. Set one, and now end my turn. All right, draw. Good luck, Mr. I'll start off by summoning my X head cannon. Yes, sir. And I'll enter the battle phase and attack your set monster. Uh, attack on my set monster. Let's mm -hmm. see. My X head cannon ready to catch a body. I am going to destroy my Mystic Tomato. Oh, that's fine. That's Effect fine. of Mystic Tomato, I will special summon my Sangan. Okay. Sangan. You know that's one of my one of my favorite cards to play. I was not able to get any this time, unfortunately. <laughs> Set three cards and I'll pass my turn. Three back row? Yeah. That's pretty that's pretty deep. And all of them are real. Every single one. That's pretty deep. Yep. I'm not even joking, bro. I'm okay. here to I'm here to duel. All right. I thought I made that very clear, Sam. Sam yes, sir. Yes, sir. All this. right. I would draw for turn, Milano. Okay. We're going to figure things out slowly. All First right. and foremost, I am going to activate my Snapsky. Oh, man. I really want my X Head Cannon. Target X Head Cannon. I'll train my rivalry of Warlords. Wait. What? I need to think on Chain League 3 now. Uh oh. Because if, if, if this resolves, then you will take it and it'll be sent. Yes, sir. All right. Um, wow. Uh oh. Uh oh. And then I'll chain Mystical Space Tycoon targeting your Snatch Field. Oh, okay. So you're going to. Okay, so you're going to rivalry. Uh, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was. I, was, I should have just done this because. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I, I don't understand what, what happened Oopsie. there. Oopsie. Yeah, no, I just, I, I just forgot the rule. So I use Snatch Steel, he changed the rivalry, and then he changed um, MST on my Snatch Steel. Um, what, what is Milano trying to do here? That's fine. So unfortunately guys, it just slipped by my mind that if he takes control of my monster while I control rivalry, he will still take it rather than not be able to resolve the effect. So I have to chain MST to make sure that he's not able to control my monster. Well, I will switch my Sangan to defense mode. And yeah. now I will end my turn. All right, draw. Yes, sir. Main, I'll normal summon another X-Head Cannon. Mm. I'll enter the battle phase. X-Head Cannon, swing into the Sangan. Uh, I will grab it. Mm, I don't think so. Four, I'll pay 4,000. 4,000? <laughs> For <laughs> solemn judgment, he says no. Solemn judgment on gravity bind. Damn, he's a half. Makes my FTK a little bit easier. I don't really have a lot of outs to this gravity bind, so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to. When the judgments are solemn. Wow. <laughs> Sam, come on, you gotta know I always have this card every single time. I got life, so I'll take four thousand life points to my dome, and then eighty. Oh, sorry, Sangan. Um. Hold up. Sangan will search. Yes. Sangan will activate effect? Yes. Oh, this is not looking good. <laughs> My rivalry, it's putting it work, man. I played this card in the current format too, so I'm like, you know, it inspired me to, to, to build it in my Duel Knights deck. I will go for the Magical Scientist. Uh oh. I gotta search magical, magical time just from my deck to my hand. You're at 4,000, right? Yeah, and then I'll hit you for 18. That's fine. And then I will play one more face down card. Play around the Imperm. Go ahead. Okay, so what's my life? I'm at 60. You're at 62 to my 4K. 62 to my 4K. All right. Okay. Draw for turn. That is fine. I'm gonna activate Cold. Okay, so none so of my set cards yes. is going to be activated. All yes. right, neither player can activate spells or set one. Cold wave, baby! It's getting cold here, Milano. Or, or set spells. Yes. All right. Play your set, okay. Until the end of my turn. All right. I'll go with scientists. Yeah. I'll pay 1,000 life. That is fine. 
today, I am going to summon my Thousand Eyes Restraint. That's fun. Affect a Thousand Eyes, I'll suck the head back. Except Ken. Well, it's not, not good to be on the other side of the sucking. Yes, sir. Seriously, Sam? You're gonna suck me in front of everybody? Scientist brings out Restraint. And guess what, Milano? I'm using your strategy against you. Let me suck that monster real quick. Now, the sucker will... Um... Oh, ju no. judge have uh, scientist says it can't attack directly. What? So it, yes, you can't activate that. Yeah, no, I was just yeah. Uh oh. And this is called. Wow, it's returned to the fusion deck at the end of my turn. The so now end my turn and returns to the fusion deck. All right. Why can this not attack? Uh, well, oh, sorry. I'm oh, no, 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 sorry. I forgot. That's the end of the turn. Bro. I forgot. Okay, your turn. <laughs> All right, draw. On normal summon. My Z metal tank. Sure. And then I will swing over your magical scientist. Sure. 12 to your face. So we're both at 4K now. Your yep. move goes. So now I can we both can use spell traps. Yes. Right? I don't know. Yes, sir. It's your card, bro. I'll activate. I want normal summon tribe infecting virus. <laughs> I will call prior healing. Ah, uh, hold up, hold up. Oh, I will, I'm gonna call prior healing. Yeah, 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 but the summon is yet to, to... Oh, okay, so normal summon summon. try. Any response to summon? On the summon, I will use my solemn judgment, unfortunately. Even a solemn... Trial doesn't go through solemn judgment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That does not, yeah, no wow. shot, bro. Yeah. Solemn's again? He's at 2K! 2,000, oh my god! Man, Milano, what are you doing? Great. I'm at 2K to your four. Unfortunately, Milano. I have to. Oh man, that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'm dude. To summon tribe. Yeah. I'll call priority. Yep. I'll attack 416. All right, I'm at 400. <laughs> and in battle phase, poison the old man's again. No! Poison, <laughs> poison of the old man. <laughs> poison of the old man. Why do you play that card? Why do you play that card? <laughs> Yo, what's up? We're thinking this outside, bro. Come on. Come on. What's up? Why do, why do you play this card? Why? Why? <laughs> bro, what's up? At least I lasted longer than you did. Yeah, but. but. <laughs> Well, that's it, folks. I guess I'll see you on Patreon. Place it on the old man. Mm. Steven, <laughs> you're next. Sam. <laughs> Good. Good. Why? Last time I saw Sam in the finals, he beat me, guys. He beat me fair and square. Today, I get my revenge, and I get my third championship. Let's go. Sam, 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 Sam! Steven! We meet again in the finals. We meet in the finals. Honestly, this is, this is gonna be a great finals, man. It will. I saw what your deck did. It looked pretty scary. I'm pretty sure if I got poisoned the old man, I'm probably retiring from Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, really? So I feel bad for Milano, but it's okay, because I'm not Milano the Duelist. I am Triff the Duelist. Wow, Steven, are you confident in your strategy this week? Very. All right, me too. Uh, you guys have yet to see my strategy, but anyway, Steven, good luck. Good luck. All right, let's go. High roll. High roll. Yeah, well, I know. Two dice. I'm gonna win this one for you, bro. Let's go. I, I'll, I'm going to Five. Well, what? what? Yeah, I'm I, sound nice. Yay! I thought we were buddies, bro. No, the thing is, bro, since our since our last since our last altercation, I feel like we just we're we're now rivals, Steven. Me and you. I wouldn't call it a rivalry if I slap you every time. <laughs> Did you say Five. It's a rivalry of warlords. <laughs> Six. Two. All right, Steven, I will start. All right, good luck, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> he said he was playing beatdown or something like that, right? All right, Steven, uh, normal summon tribe, infection buyers. All right, draw! Whoa! My activate. Sure. Oh, this is good for me. Yeah, yeah that was my points? Yes. Sure. I'll get rid of your monster before. Sure, that's a good one. Oh, 
How's that good for you exactly? Not, <laughs> Not really, man, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, my next move? Yeah. Summon five. Okay. Yeah. Set one card face down. No, yep. Someone's dying, right? Fresh them in a. Not the science. Oh. What's up? Yes, sir. I know. Oh. I know Steven loves to play Torrentro and all those cards, so. I don't see this uh Snap steal. Oh my god guys. He just snatch steal me. You guys wanna cry together? For Sam? Cause I don't care about snatch steal, what the heck? I we're prepared for this baby. We are ready. I'm letting this go in. It's all good. All right, so we're gonna need a coin. All right, Steven, coin toss time. Oh, right, oh I, so I, I call it, right? Or you call it? Toss a coin. If your opponent is a monster that clears an attack, I toss a coin. Okay, so I call heads. Hell, 1400 ah. damage. Ah. So you lose 1400? Yes. All right, main phase two. Yes. I will set this card face down and end my turn. All right, my turn. Yes. I will draw. I will take life points. Yes, sir. Yes. Yep. Are you paying five five hundred? Yes. If you pay five hundred fairy box, and you gain a thousand. I will MSP the snatch. And I will attack the other side. Okay. Set one. One drop turn? Yes. Set two. Good. Any 500 for the box? I will. Yep. So you're at 66. Someone's bug. So guys, Steven has two monsters on the field and I have two set monsters. Once I properly set this up, I think I can win. Cold Wave! Oh man, Cold Wave back from my grave? <sighs> Clock's ticking, Steven. Clock's ticking. Cold Wave. Okay. <laughs> I don't care. This game is done, bro. The mother gives you the trigger. Yep. Is he gonna bring out Catapult Turtle? I don't give a catapult turtle, bro. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna tribute? Oh, Sam, are you gonna tribute catapult turtle? Do 500 damage to my life points? Oh, bro, big deal, bro. I don't care. This duel's over. Look at my field. I'm good. It's done. You know what I'm trying to do? Oh my god, I'm about to get up. All right, well. I'll have to pass to you, my friend. Draw. Let's... Just get a little bit of defense. Pass to the deck. Play it. Play it, my scientist. This one. Hit. 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 Coming into the match, I don't think Steven knew what my deck was capable of. All he saw in Milano's match was a scientist. He didn't see Catapult Turtle. <laughs> oh no! That's what he was trying to do all along! 
Science is a kind of fun thing I'm wrong! I lose! Oh my god, bro. I don't want to have his monsters staying up on the field. I need to get rid of them now. Alright, draw. Steven? Yeah. Those better be some good back rolls, Steven. Because now, at his final mind, May says one. Cold wave! It's done. Cold wave. His back rolls are done. The reason why I didn't proceed to go on my combo last turn was because I can't activate Cold Wave and Monster Reborn at the exact same time. I wanted to Monster Reborn Scientist and stall it out with Gravity Mine. That's the plan. That's the plan. And then next turn, if you can't get rid of my monsters, I Cold Wave and then the rest is... Uh... Do you know what's going up? Oh no, I don't like where this is going. I'll just flip Robin Goblin. I don't like where this is going, guys! <laughs> Steven! No! Magical Scientist! Pay 1,000 life points! Putting me at 7,000. Last time I checked, you only had 66. <laughs> Do you know where this is going? Magical Scientist are paying 1,000 life points. Oh my god. I will special summon an Empress Judge for my deck. Oh. Now, since we're going with the Odoradas, shout out to Patreon. Catapult Toro is not a once per turn effect. Catapult Toro says I can tribute one monster, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half that monster's attack. So now, scientists, Catapult Toro, tribute Empress Dodge. And guess what? All those back rolls mean absolutely. <laughs> a thousand damage to you. Pay a thousand. A thousand fifty. Sorry. Now, scientists, pay another thousand. Summon my second Empress Judge. Effect Turtle, tribute the Judge. 11! Don't die. And they Boom! Now, Scientist, pay another thousand. Judge Sea Snake. Tribute. 1050. So now you've taken three. Um, um, uh, 3150. I'm probably like 3150. I, I'm calculating. You're calculating, right, Judge? Calculating. Now, Scientist again. You think I have enough cards in my extra deck? Summon, of course, Punish Ego, Effect Turtle, Tribute, 1050. That's 42. Come on, keep going, Judge. Boom. What is it? Cross, 5250. <laughs> Let's go. A thousand. Summon, Tribute. Boom. Come on, keep going. Boom. No. 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 Good game. Good game. Uh, what was your back row? What was your back row? Can I see? Oh my god. They're against real decks, not like an FTK deck. Oh, oh my god. Bro, if you had that breaker, I was so scared to break it. You pop like that? Somewhere in my deck. Oh my uh, god. What's your, what's your next draw? You know? I drew a tomato. Tribe. Oh my god. It's game! Yes, guys! Two rings, baby! Well, I kind of have a. I, I kind of don't have the two rings on me, but man. I have two wins now on Duel Nights. I'm super duper happy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that strategy there, man. I had so much fun, bro. This was insane. I, hopefully, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you guys for coming to another episode of Duel Nights. I lost in the finals. What else is new? My finals record is like two wins and seven losses. But you know what? So is LeBron James. I'm the GOAT, baby. I'm the GOAT. I should have dressed up as LeBron for Halloween. Anyways, hope you guys all loved the episode. And make sure... If you didn't go to Patreon already, go check right there, okay? Because this Patreon episode is very special. Not only are you guys going to get my deck profile. I won. I don't care. My deck's the best. Not only are you going to get my deck profile. Not only are you going to get exams. Not only are you going to get the other two losers. I don't even know their names. But you're also going to get like 10 matches as well. So go check it out right now. And with that being said, guys, thank you guys for coming on. I love you all. And I'll see you guys next Duel Nights. Peace. So guys, that's it from my adventure over here on Duel Night. Honestly, I had an absolute blast. Huge thanks to Sam and everyone else for having me on this show. I'm really, really happy to be here. And honestly, this was an absolute blast, even though I didn't kick butt as much as I wanted to. However, there is one butt left to kick. Milano is about to get a big old smack over in the loser's match on Patreon. Don't worry about it. I'm not losing this one. 
Guys, if you guys haven't checked out the Patreon yet, what are you guys doing, man? Patreon is literally my second YouTube channel. We got so many cool contents going on there. And I interact a lot with my Patreons on patreon.com slash x one We look at draft lists. We deck build together. We vote on things to kick out and to add in. There are so many cool ways for you guys to interact with us do Night members. So what are you guys waiting for? This episode, I think we have at least like six additional content that's coming up alongside the deck profiles, in-depth analysis and things like that. So this episode is gonna be full of content and I cannot wait for you guys to see it all there on Patreon. And for those of you who support the show by just liking and commenting and smashing that thumbs up button, I appreciate you guys so much from the bottom of my heart, guys. You guys are absolutely insane. All right guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Duel Night. All right guys, peace.